I'm so glad you're here. If you're new, my name is Morgan and I'm living here in New Zealand with my dog and fiance. And now I make lifestyle videos about our journey to starting a family on everything health and wellness. Now, I don't know about you, but living in a calm, cozy, and clean environment is very important to the well-being of my mind, body, and spirit. And not that we need studies to back up our feelings, but there are plenty of studies showing that women describing their living spaces as cluttered were more likely to be fatigued and depressed than those describing their living spaces as restful and restorative, and that cluttered homes make it difficult to focus on a particular task, and that actually your visual cortex can be completely overwhelmed by objects that are not related to what you're currently doing, which makes it a lot harder to complete tasks efficiently and effectively. This also releases the stress and anxiety hormone, cortisol. The brain says, uh, we have some unfinished business and this lack of completeness is really stressing me out, which is so me. If there's a mess in the house or something is honestly just out of place, I can't really focus on anything else until that task is out of sight and complete. That's probably why I get so annoyed when a certain someone comes home and doesn't hang up his keys or put away his wallet or hang up his coat. Do you guys have this issue? If you do, please leave it in the comments below so I can feel better about not being the only one with this problem. By getting organized and reducing the amount of clutter in our home, we can feel more in control of our environment and our lives in general by creating a relaxing space and a greater sense of well-being. So, messy environment equals messy, tense brain and clean environment equals calm, happy brain. <sighs> now, I do think that keeping a tidy, minimal home is the key foundation in keeping a cozy house, but it's definitely not the only thing that makes a big difference. In this video, I've gathered 10 inexpensive and easy improvements that I've done in our home to create a pleasant and cozy space, particularly a home that might need a few upgrades, but you can't really do too much because it's a rental. Now, please do keep in mind that I do currently live in New Zealand and have definitely figured out that it is very difficult to get exactly what you want at a reasonable price. There is no Amazon here, unfortunately, with a million options, so I've had to be a bit more resourceful and creative. Obviously, it's not the fanciest house, and it's definitely not Pinterest worthy, but I do feel much more at peace in my space after these easy changes. So go get yourself a cozy blanket and a hot drink and let's get into it. You guys, I'm drinking the best apple cider. I made it in a slow cooker and I will make a video about it because it's so good. Mm. Yeah. So the first thing I did in our home, and I think it might be the most important, is to make sure that everything has a place. This way, cleaning up becomes a lot less taxing. There's no, hmm, I have no idea where this goes, so I'll just leave it in the middle of the floor. Or I'll just stuff it into a corner. Or I'll just stuff it into a drawer. This also means that if it doesn't have a place, throw it away. Or at least store it away somewhere. I like to put things away in a big bin in the garage for like three months, and if I haven't missed it at all, then I'll feel much better about throwing it away. And that doesn't mean you can't have meaningful knickknacks. Uh, I mean decorative pieces. I think we've been giving knickknacks a bad rap lately, but I think a personal touch makes everything a bit more cozy among the sparse background if you're living in a minimalist home. You can place them in your home sparingly and even rotate them out every once in a while. Mine always make me smile. Next is decorating with neutral colors. How exciting. Neutral colors are actually a great base for your environment because it mimics nature, which is very calming and never goes out of style, which is great because then you can add your own pops of color accents, which can be changed out depending on your mood or the season, and you don't have to rebuy everything you own. In this house, I chose both warm and cool neutrals, so there's a lot of options. Needs a heat up, one second. That's better. Ooh, this next one I'm really into, textures. It just makes everything look more interesting and adds a lot of depth to your space. I'm a big fan of wood and metals and furniture, and I do try to keep the same metal going in the same room. I also like adding glass pieces and textured fabrics. Mirrors are also a great way to open up a small space. I'm not 100% sure why these all go so well together, at least in my mind. It might be because they're all kind of earthy, organic elements but I'm a fan. Another project that I did here in our home was to cover the countertops with this contact paper. Now I will be the first to admit that the contact paper I found over here was not ideal. <laughs> it was thin and easily ripped and kind of see-through even. 
But again, it was all I had access to, and I will say that I think it looks 74% better than it did overall. I mean, the countertops were pretty gross, and I think it was the easiest and fastest and really the only way to improve them. Plus, when we leave, it will definitely just peel right off easy peasy. And now I can cook in a more calming state and not be so focused on the yucky countertops. Having said that, if you live somewhere with better access, please take advantage of that and just get a nice quality contact paper. Next up is lighting, and this might be obvious to most people, but I didn't know that depending on the room that you're in in your house, it can call for different lighting. So for instance, in our living room and bedroom, we have kind of warm tone bulbs and in the bathroom and kitchen we have more cool tone bulbs where it's key to actually see what you're doing. The softness of the warm bulbs is very cozy especially when it starts getting dark really early and you're still very much awake. Our house actually didn't come with light fixtures so I opted to get some nicer looking Edison bulbs. They're a little bit more expensive but definitely more affordable than a whole new light fixture and a lot less time. <laughs> Okay, part of nice lighting is also candles, of course. I try to stay away from paraffin candles to avoid the black soot and toxic fumes and stick with the 100% soy candles. Nature scents are always my go-to. Also, if you have an issue with candles because of the smoke or if you have small children around, diffusers are a great alternative. Kitchen organization. It really makes me feel more peaceful when everything's organized and has a place and I know where every single thing is. And honestly, more motivated to cook. I think we all know what I'm going to say. Yes, labels have been my very best friend in the pantry. I recently organized my little tea pantry and I have a lot of teas. Maybe I'll even do a tea video, just going over the types of teas that I have. I use them medicinally and I think tea makes everyone feel more cozy and welcome. Living abroad has taught me that having tea means very different things to different people, so I like to have a variety just to cover my bases. Okay, so I used to have a very black thumb, but since moving here I have really embraced growing plants in and outdoors. I have purchased many plants and have been gifted quite a few as well. I try to scatter them throughout the whole house and gather that free oxygen that they release and I think it really adds a lot of beauty to each room. Oh, another project that turned out so well was our fireplace. Now this is just superficial but the paint on the outside was all chipped off and so it looked really silver and it didn't match the other metals. I have kind of a brush gold themed in the living room so I kind of wanted it to match. So we took off the face and just gave it a good cleaning and scrubbed it with some sandpaper and then I gave it a few coats of super high heat resistant spray paint. Oh man, I think it looks so much better and more put together. If you're like me, we hate carpet. Ew, ew, ew. It has more bacteria per square inch than a toilet seat. That's so gross. But here we are in a rental, and there's carpet. Nice carpet, by the way. Soft carpet, quality wool carpet, but carpet nonetheless. So what do we do? Rugs. And the best thing about rugs, in my opinion, is you can throw them away. Okay, okay, rugs are actually great. We love rugs. We can use them to break up a room with color, add some texture, and even cover up some cords. And last but not least, blankets. There's nothing worse than being at somebody's house and it's freezing and they're not cold but you're cold and you just need a little something to take the chill out of the air. So I always try to have a little cozy throw on the couch for anybody who needs it. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed getting a little deeper look into our cozy little farmhouse and maybe it even inspired you to make your home a little bit more pleasing to live in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every single week. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd really love for you to come on this journey with me. Thanks. See you next time. I think we've really been giving the... Ah! I got some tea in my shirt. It is so itchy. Thank you.